since um, I've done any videos in the van, um, really because uh, I haven't done anything really worthwhile in the van for ages. Um, and then um, had an opportunity to, to change quite a lot. So I'm going to try and start doing some extra, extra videos with regards to all of the changes. Um, but I'll give you a quick rundown, um, starting from the front. Um, two captain's chairs were installed, which now gives me six um, possible seats at the front for um, for my four kids. Um, they've all got seat belts. They're all bolted to the floor. Um, it really does open up the space when you're trying to fit six people into a cat in, into a van. Um, I've also got a bunk bed at the front now, and um, a fold-out bed that goes onto the three seats at the front. Because um, that was the problem that I was having trying to fit six people in the van. Um, I've also gone over to um, half the battery bank is lithium. I've got one 100 amp um, lithium phosphate battery and then the other half uh, which you can just see the controller up here goes to my old um, 130 amp lead acid batteries I've got two of them that's 260 amp hours um, but obviously because they're lead acid you can only use 130 of them 130 of those amps um, I was quite lucky I had um, a couple of cheap 2000 watt pure wave pure sin wave inverters so I've got one one down here and one in my cupboard under the sink um, and the idea between my electrics in the van, which I don't think people generally have because they've got such a big battery bank, is um, I don't use the lead acid batteries at all. If the lithium battery runs down to zero, or like 5%, what I do is I swap over to my lead acid to power my fridge and my cooker. Um, which are the main things and I'm hoping that's going to give me enough time for the lithium battery to charge back up because it does it seems to charge a lot quicker than what um, the last lead acid does um, that could be because the lithium battery bank is charged by um, about 250 watts of solar where my lead acid is only powered by a hundred watt solar panel um, so yeah the idea is to run my fridge which is um, a 240 volt AC fridge that runs through my inverter uh, it's quite a good size I'll show you it um, it's down That's my fridge. Um, it's a Russell Hobbs. It's got a small ice um, little chest in it as well. Um, when it's on minimum setting, it doesn't actually pull a lot of watts at all, but it does require a good size inverter because of the surge it takes to get it started, to get that compressor started. Once it's started, you leave it on. Um, it's not too bad unless you run it on full blast which is setting five and then it does tend to take a little bit of power the plan for the test is um, run the fridge off the 240 AC off my lead acid batteries which are currently showing um, up there 
it's showing 2.8 volts on my lead acid at the moment. Um, so I'll run that down to, um, I'll run it overnight and see what it is in the morning. Um, hopefully it's not too low. Hopefully it's around about 11.2, something like that, 11.2, 11.3. So it doesn't kick, drain the batteries too much because you're not supposed to do that with lead acid. And then what I'll do is, um, switch the inverter off uh, which is um, just down there switch the inverter off and then literally all I have to do in order to swap over onto the lithium so all I have to do to swap over is literally just unplug one of the white ones from the back the other one goes to uh, an extension socket just on the kitchen um, unplug one of the white ones plug it into this inverter switch it on and that's connected to and you probably can't see it because it's so dark down there there's a lithium battery down there which is a hundred amp hundred amp hours um, I've got this little this little gauge here that tells me in percentages and volts what I've got in lithium and that goes to Another eco worthy charge controller up here, which what's it got coming in at the moment? Such a cloudy day, I've got like hardly anything coming in because um, it's on float charge anyway. Yeah, I'll um, once the lead acid um, has run the fridge all night, so tomorrow morning I'll come in the van, check the voltage. Um, I'll do a video of what the voltage is, swap it over to the lithium, run that for a day, um, see what it goes down to. If it doesn't go below 12 volts, because obviously on lithium you can run them down to virtually zero. Um, if it's only down to about 12 volts, I'll probably leave it for another day and leave the fridge on. Um, and uh, and then come back the third day to see if it's dropped a bit more. If it's dropped a bit more by that time, hopefully the um, the lead acid batteries should have charged fully again. Um, and then I'll swap them over. And it's just again a process of swapping the plug over, switching the inverter on for the lead acid batteries, running the fridge. And what I want to do is I want to do that process hopefully for a week maybe even longer um, and see how long I can run my fridge bearing in mind it's not a 12 volt fridge I do have a 12 volt um, compressor fridge which is absolutely brilliant um, but I tend to use it purely as a big freezer um, and it stays outside in the awning so I'll do another video with that one but yeah I want to I want to give it a go I want to see if I can go from my lead acid to my lithium, from my lithium to my lead acid, and vice versa, and keep doing that um, over the next few days, and hopefully run the fridge for seven days without draining either of my batteries. Um, obviously it helps if the sun comes out, if it doesn't, we'll just have to wait and see. So, um, if that seems like it makes for an interesting video, leave a comment down below um, and I'll give you a little bit of information about um, my inverters and the make, make of them. They're only Chinese ones. They're supposed to be 4,000 watt but they weren't even close. Um, they're, they're closer to 2,000 watts. Um, the lithium battery is a Ultramax from Amazon, 100 amp hours. My lead acid batteries are sealed lead acid leisure batteries from Probat or Probat I think they're called. They're not bad. You know they they hold a charge. They, you know, I think I overcharged them when I first got them. I used to run them up to like well over fourteen volts, which you're not supposed to do for a lead acid. So, um, so yeah, we'll just let this process carry on now, and um, and, and see how we get on, and uh, hopefully it makes for an interesting video. So um, stay tuned. <laughs>